All right, everybody, welcome back to our 4th of July um, themed activity week, I guess. Um, you guys got a little bag that looks like this, and we are going to make a 4th of July bracelet, or maybe you want to do an anklet, and, you know, boys can do this one too. Girls or boys, it's pretty, you know, it's just red and blue, 4th of July. So um, what you got is you got a little uh, straw, and you got some string and some beads. So what you're gonna do first is you're just gonna need some scissors and we're just gonna kind of cut them. You can cut them either um, big or small or whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna do mine kind of bigger and be really careful because they're made out of paper so you don't want them to squish. So mine are about that big. If you wanna make them a little smaller, you're welcome to. So I have mine about every three, I guess I'm cutting, so like that going every three and you might not use all of these it's up to you how much you want to use um, or how big your string is but just cut them kind of like that so I have about one two three I got about six little pieces like this and then I'm gonna take my string and I just am gonna tie it so I tied it just a couple, um, so it's got just a little bit um, of an end there. And I'm gonna just put on one of these. Be careful that it doesn't um, fall back at you. So I'm gonna do one of these, pull it through. Now it probably will try and fall out the other way um, and that's okay. You just want a little bit of edge on there so that it doesn't, it's not as easy to do that because you're gonna tie these onto your wrist or your ankle. Okay, then I'm gonna do, um, and if it's easier, I'm just doing it so you guys can see. Um, you can tape this end so things don't fall off and then just put it on. So actually I'm gonna um, maybe stop the video for a second and then I'm gonna switch it over so that you can see how that looks. So we'll be right back. All right, so you guys can see now I put some tape on here. So then I can kind of just pull it up like that and work a little bit easier. So I have this on there and then I'm just gonna start beading. Um, and like I said, you can do whatever you want. We gave you a bunch of beads and a bunch of little um, straws so that you can make as much as you want on it. But we wanna keep it, you know, since it's 4th of July, we want to keep it red, white, and blue. So that's why you all got red, white, and blue. So I'm just going to keep going. And we are making these videos a little bit, um, you know, a few more in a day so that if you guys are going out of town, you could do all the activities this week. So, so even though the schedule says that we're doing this activity on Wednesday, we're actually filming it on Tuesday this week. So you can just keep going. I'm gonna do three beads to every um, straw piece. And again, as I taught you, you can lick your fingers. Again, make sure you wash your hands when you're done. You don't want it to become unraveled, so. Okay. Keep going. These are already so cute, I love them. Now, because these are made out of paper, you're gonna wanna take them off if you go swimming or um, take a shower or a bath because the paper will get soggy in there, so. And we don't want it to get ruined. So. I am starting to get frayed at the end, so if yours does that, that's okay. Just keep wetting it so it doesn't. I think I have enough to do this about one more time. Just like that, I need two more beads. If you have extra beads, save them. You guys can do another project with them um, later. Okay, one more. And then I'm gonna add one more here. And you wanna make sure that there's enough. So this is my what it looks like. You wanna make sure there's enough at the end so you can tie it. So can I have a helper come in here? I'm gonna tie it on you or help tie it on. We'll tie it on this. 
Shaylee here. So I'm gonna just tie it on. Don't do it, tie it too tight because you wanna be able to take it off if you need to. Oops, just maybe like two times. So if you guys can see, Shaylee's got this on her and it looks so cute. I love it. And like I said, you can do it on your ankle or your wrist or whatever is easier. So that is the 4th of July bracelet. Have fun, send us your pictures, bye.